the vibe any different, the attitudes any different than any other week? Uh, no, I don't think so. You know, it's a new day. You know, we got our bus whipped, but, you know, I'm excited for, you know, what's coming on on Saturday. You know, you don't want to have that feeling again. Southern defensive end Kelby Givens kept it 100 on the team's recent outing against Jackson State. The Jags suffered a fifth straight loss to their bitter rival. Not only that, but they looked like a team far below Jackson State's level. To make matters worse, Southern might have lost a quarterback in the process. Zay T says suffered an ankle injury on this sack late in the second quarter. The Skylandville alum was out for the rest of the game and was put in a walking boot. Now, head coach Terrence Graves says the X-rays came back negative and that T-Set has not officially been ruled out for Saturday's SWAC opener at Prairie View. If T-Set can't go, then Noah Bowden is back as QB1. When those type of plays happen, you look at the protection up front, and it's safe to say that Southern's offensive line is still a work in progress. On top of the three sacks allowed, the Jags ran for 29 yards against Jay State. I asked Graves if the issues boil down to technique or communication. It was a combination of things. Um, again, you know, we got new guys playing together. They got a jail. Nothing's going to happen overnight. Game experience is the best experience. And so uh, a lot of times it was, it was some technical things, uh, some fundamental things, guys communicating. As offensive linemen should communicate. We talked about that yesterday, uh, last night, and those guys understand that. So it was a combination of things. But, you know, uh, they'll be better. We will see you on Saturday.